Hey leaders, thank you for taking time aside to lead this week on July 24th. Sorry, I had to check the date for where we are. Um, we are plowing through these divisions of the Bible, concentrating on the meta narrative, helping teach that to children to understand um, the Bible as a whole, not just thousands of little bitty stories. There's a, there's a through purpose through the entire thing of Jesus as rescuer and how to live for him. Sorry for the ding, ding, ding. So this week we are on the division of Paul's letters, um, epistles, whatever you want to call them. And so there are a lot of them and there are seven. So we will talk about how many of his letters, well, his letters are generally for the purpose of correcting, uh, mistaken theology, or they've gotten kind of, kind of off track from, from correct theology. And so he's writing to correct that or fussing over following different leaders and things like that, focusing on Christ. Some of them are strictly for encouragement. Um, and some of them are instructions on how to, how to do things differently or better. So, uh, Romans is the longest of these books and its purpose is simply to share God's salvation, God's plan for salvation for the entire world. It's pretty much the point of the entire book of Romans. Um, First and second Corinthians were written to the specific church at Corinth. And of course it was shared all over the place. Um, the first Corinthians, the first letter was written to new Christians, encouraging them to act and behave as true followers of Christ. Second Corinthians, he starts out praising the people for listening to his instructions and then moves to encouraging them, um, to continue to live godly lives. And, as we all know, frequently encouragement is in the form of, yes, let me encourage you um, to stop doing what you're doing and start doing the right thing, right? So first and second Corinthians is that. So uh, Galatians is Paul um, spending most of that book explaining we are saved through faith. There's lots of other things he talks about, but that is the core point of that book. We are saved through faith, not by works. Um, Ephesians is our next letter from Paul. He talks about um, the armor of God and how to defend ourselves against temptation. The temptation is not from God, but the power to withstand it is. Uh, Philippians is next, is a book full of thanks and encouragement. Um, and Paul is experiencing persecution just like they are. And so talking about all of that, having correct attitudes when things are hard, not even correct attitudes because for humanity, correct attitude would be angry. Um, but he says through Jesus, we can be positive through this. So finally it's Colossians and he's writing again to, to the, to some believers there and it's to correct wrong beliefs and get the church back on track and their behaviors and what they're believing, and what they're understanding. So that is the epistles. What are we going to do for activities? Uh, we're going to be using the lids, new Testament lids and talking about times they've gotten mail, things like that, kind of trying to link that back in there. Um, and then finally, the creative activity will be to write a letter or draw pictures, sharing Jesus with somebody, whether helping them to understand who Jesus is for the first time or to, to help them understand who he is better. Encourage somebody. All right. Thanks so much, friends.